is the continuation of consciousness after death a uh, metaphysical impossibility uh, or merely uh, an unproved uh, assertion? I would say the first, it's a metaphysical impossibility based on the nature of consciousness. Consciousness requires organs uh, that are operating that, that provide you with a means of awareness or a means of consciousness. So without those, uh, it would be simply impossible. Yeah, so it's like saying, uh, is uh, the continuation of vision after death a uh, metaphysical impossibility? Well, obviously, vision is a function of the eye. When you have no eye, you have no vision, and consciousness is that to the brain, uh, to the brain and the body. So it certainly is a metaphysical impossibility. But now what else is wrong with this question? He says, or merely an unproved uh, assertion. Would you call it an unproved assertion that uh, consciousness exists after death? I would call it an arbitrary. Yes, absolutely. It's, you know, to get to uh, being an unproved assertion is a complimentary. It means that this statement has entered the realm of cognition. It's relevant to us. Is there evidence for it or not? Say, well, not at the present time, we don't have conclusive evidence, unproved. But uh, uh, you can't throw around if there's no basis whatever for a, a statement. You can't say, well, it's unproved. Or say, it's uncertain. You can't apply any of those uh, cognitive uh, labels. Uh, now, not every arbitrary statement, of course, can be uh, shown to be a metaphysical impossibility. Usually they are so couched and defined that you can't do anything with them. Like, you know, God is that which is beyond man's power to conceive. Prove that it doesn't exist. Well, obviously an arbitrary statement, you can't prove it's a contradiction because it's not anything uh, defined. Or even something defined, you know, such as the, the uh, power of astrology. You can't prove that it doesn't exist till there's evidence that it does exist. So it's just purely arbitrary.